Hello YouTube, um, this is sort of a follow-up video to my How to Get Fences video, um, if you haven't seen that yet, and you do, and you, you're interested, go ahead and click this little icon here, the Mac icon, the sad Mac icon, and it'll take you to that video on how to get it. Um, <clears throat> if you, but really I'm not going to talk about that much today because the focus of this video is not fences, it is actually, it comes from the same um, from the same company, Stardock. This is the closest thing that I know of to the Mac Finder Bar. Okay, so um, this is the Mac Finder Bar, as you can see here. Um, it has the control panel. It has basically everything you would need right there. Um, I guess I'll move on to how to get it. What you're going to want to do is open up your internet browser and go to Google.com. Then type in Stardock Object Bar. Okay. Then hit enter. Then you're going to see this very first link. It'll say ob Object Bar Stardock.com Your Edge in Software. Go ahead and click that little link there. And then it should take you to here. Now, if you um, <clears throat> you can buy it. You can buy the digital one. Object Desktop Ultimate that has all the things on it with these with all these things right here but um this is basically right here if you don't want to go through these steps check the description over to the right and you should see a download link that will lead you to this page here and then you just follow the instructions for the thing for the um <clears throat> with the installation now one thing i thought that i need might need to talk about is the installation um whenever i was installing mine i do know that whenever i did it for some reason, whenever I opened up the press the icon for it, it took it a, like an hour just to open up. Now this is this shouldn't be um, this sh might not happen on your computer. I don't know. I really don't have a clue. But um, if it does, then just make sure you give it give it time. Give it about an hour. And if it doesn't do so, then uninstall it and reinstall it. Okay. So um, once you do that, you'll get a little window that has three options I believe three options just press object bar and then here you have it now um, <clears throat> one thing that I found that was kind of hard to do and annoying to do was getting to the computer to check like your hard drive and things like that what I figured out what I need to do is right here you can press show hide windows taskbar then your windows taskbar will pop up you can um, you can see there's like the computer um, I'm going to drag a shortcut to my desktop just for a little that way I don't have to open up my um Windows taskbar. That's also how you do that. Um <clears throat> now another thing that took me forever to figure out how to do is how to um shut down, restart and log off of your computer. This is pretty easy to do. All you do is you click special and then you have three options here. You can restart, log off or shut down. Then you have some other options here like empty recycle bin. That's very helpful if you don't have your recycle bin on your desktop. Then you have all of these things right here. You have view, configure, object bar. Object bar has different skins. You can change it to different ones. Mac PC Classic. Now, as you can see, it's just like that. Um, but my favorite is Mac PC Update. Um, which is the one that I had it on before. Now, just like a Mac Finder bar, whenever you have two programs open right here, you can find it here and you can switch between them and you can um, hide, show all, you can hide window, hide window, um, hide others, and all that stuff. Um, now, another thing is making shortcuts from your like say you just got a new program and you want a shortcut from it you're gonna click this little thing right here and it's gonna take you to this so now um, say I wanted a shortcut for Camtasia recorder I'd right click it and you're gonna see this it won't have anything to do you'll go to file system, file system menu okay then you'll have all of your standard um, options same with these file system menu you have all your stand standard options so um yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please private message me uh, or leave a comment in the little box down there. Um, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye.